Alright, so arrange these fractions in descending order. Okay, now for questions like this, what you do is you convert them to the same numerator, alright? So 7 times 3 times 5 times 3 times 5. So 7 times 3 times 5 is actually 105. Eight times three times five is actually hundred and twenty. Okay, this is seven over eight. So seven over eight is it actually equals one hundred and five over hundred and twenty. Three quarter. Okay, times. Okay, three quarter times seven times five. Okay, you multiply by seven and five. Whatever is not in a. Okay, because you want to make the numerators the same and. You do the same, 7 times 5. See, 3 times 7 times 5. Okay. 3 times 7 times 5 is actually 100 and 105. 4 times 7 times 5 is actually 140. Okay. So, 3 quarter is equal to 105 over 140. Now, 5 over 6. Okay, times 3 times 7 times 3 times 7. Alright, 5 times 3 times 7 is actually 105. Okay, convert them to the same numerator. Whatever you do to the numerator, you also have to do to the denominator. So 6 times 3 times 7 is actually equal to 126. Okay, so 5 over 6 is equal to 105. So you actually asked to arrange these fractions in descending order. So, which means from largest to smallest. Okay. Now, the smallest, the smallest denominator will tell you that the fraction is actually the largest. So, in this case, seven over eight is hundred and five, and the denominator is hundred and twenty. Okay. The s remember, since the numerators are the same, the smaller the denominator the larger the fraction. Alright, so in this case 7 over 8 is the largest. Alright, because 7 over 8 is 105 over 120 followed by 105 over 126 which is 5 over 6 and last but not least 3 quarters. So 3 quarters is the smallest because considering the fact that all the numerators are the same it's got the largest denominator. Alright, so this is 105 out of 120. Okay, that's the largest. 105 over 126. Second largest. And the smallest is 105 out of 140. Alright, so this is the answer. Okay, this is the answer.